brief tutorial on how to start up the Viper in GCS World. Um, a friend of mine, John419, asked me to put this together for him. I'm trying to get him to go up in the Viper with me sometime in the future. So, uh, this isn't like the golden rule tutorial, but it will get you in the air and it will get you fighting. So, feel free to use this as a guide. All right, so the first thing you do is turn the main power on. And then give that a second, and you want to go ahead and go to this jet, fu jet fuel and click Start 2. They're just, I've heard some varying opinions on which one you're supposed to click. I've had more luck with Start 2. Um, go ahead and shut your canopy with this little bitty knob here. And then lock your canopy here. And arm your ejection seat. All right, throw these switches forward. It mostly activates your hard points and activates your radar artimeter. And then all five of these switches, plus these two, they're all those on. Uh, most of them are for the MFD and the UFC and the map mode. The map mode I don't believe is implemented. Um, and now you can go ahead and roll up the HUD. And as soon as you see your engine RPM here is above 20, all you do is push your throttle forward. And you should see the RPMs here start climbing. The, the Viper is now starting up. It's basically that simple. It doesn't get much more difficult than that. Um, got a few more steps, but we'll get to those since as it comes up here. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is bring up the list and the INS. So this top number up here, where it says 99, we're trying to get it to 10 for the INS alignment. We want to switch this knob here, which is for INS, to standard heading, which is one click to the right. And you should see this start counting down now. You can also go to norm, but it will count down slower. Uh, and this is your mids. You want to turn it to the right and turn it on. You don't have to do anything with the oxygen as long as you see that's flowing. Um, these are your console lights. Uh, also right here, um, surprise it's not squelching at me already, is COM2, and in this particular server it's the uh, Overlord bot, so I try to turn this down. Uh, Alright, so next, uh, RWR. Go ahead and power it up. You'll see the RWR come up and start hollering at you. And then switch on power for the RWR and the jammer. And then go ahead and, and select chaff and flares and go to whatever mode you want to go in. It'll show you your flare and chaff numbers here. This is your HMD. Either roll it up with a knob or roll it up. Uh, here is your jammer. You can go ahead and knock it up twice and it's automatically an exhibit, I believe. Uh, finally, your IFF. You want to switch your my IFF to norm here. You also have your light controls here, a uh, little different than in, say, the Hornet, um, but this is like a master control for all lights. Alright, we are basically up and running, but I want to take this a little, little step further. So we see our INS is ready here, doesn't take long. Go ahead and switch this to NAV. Alright, so what I want to do is show... Um, how to input uh, attack in. So if you dive or left to return to go to the main menu, hit TILS or number one, and then dive or down. So the um, the attack in sig signal for here is 21x. So it's just 21 enter. I'm already on X. And you can hear it start hollering at me.
So we know we got a solid attack in signal. Right now it's on receive. If I do DARPA right, it'll go to track and receive. Okay. One more thing, I'm gonna get a coordinate. Doesn't matter. Let's just do Yep. Alright, so I want to enter in this coordinate. The return again. Click four for steer point. Let's notch this up to steer point five, for example. Dauber down, dauber down. And then we do just like in every other plane is six, eight. So if you like for the Hornet, that's enough. But the Viper wants you to carry it out to three digits. If you don't do that, it'll flash at you and it won't accept it. And the Hornet also wants the 038. So let's do east, 038, 1680. And we still need another digit. There we go. There. And if we needed to do uh, elevation, we would go down right there. So one thing to notice here is this, I forget what this is called, it's essentially your HSI, I believe there's a different name for it for the older systems, but so this arrow is pointing to our first waypoint, and our first waypoint is our selected waypoint. Our selected waypoint is waypoint 5, and we're 173 miles from that. Make sure I said that right. Yes. Um, this here is your course line, and you can also go to your attack in here. So now the arrow is facing the attack in station, which is the center of the runway. Uh, you can, this is how you guide your plane on autopilot here. Uh, you literally just move this over the arrow, and as long as you've got pitch and heading hold on, you will fly on that bearing. This knob here moves your course line. Oh, one last thing. Uh, once you got your mid zone, make sure you turn on your link 16. That's your data link. I believe the Viper has to have a pod for that. In this server, the pod is on by default. Alright, if anybody knows I missed anything or if there's anything I should be adding, please let me know.